السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ بائی ناؤ یو آر کوائٹ کمفرٹیبل بائی دس کورس اینڈ ایون آئی ایم انجوائنگ یو مسٹ بی انجوائنگ دیٹ ٹو اینڈ ٹوڈے اٹس لیکچر نمبر فائیو اینڈ دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ہیڈ ریٹ گڈ ڈسکشن ود ریفرنس ٹو واٹ پلانرز اینڈ پالیسی میکرز آر ڈوئنگ واٹ مینیجرز ڈو اینڈ ان دس لیکچر ایز آئی ہیو آلریڈی ٹولڈ یو دیٹ ول بی ٹاکنگ مور اباؤٹ دا planning side that how planning is being done over here uh, let's first recap what we did in the last lecture uh, number one was that I talked about how to achieve sustainable development which was very important and it was quite different from other points uh, that we have been talking with reference to the definition of sustainable development uh, we introduced a concept of intragenerational and we introduced the second concept of educating people so by having these two uh, uh, like points of uh, intragenerational equity and educating people giving more information about environment that can help you in achieving the sustainable development later on we introduced this concept of integrated natural resource management which is basically now you are looking holistically now you're not looking at the sub parts or just one system you are now looking at the whole system and after that we talked about a very important thing which you and me are going to face as policy uh, makers as planners as managers of uh, the natural resources and that is the four Uh, big challenges what those challenges were number one was change number two was complexity number three was uncertainty and number four was conflict and all these four were very critical in terms of decision making they are very critical in terms of our planning process and they are very critical in terms of achieving the sustainability because uh, if planners are stuck up and uh, they say that our plans are fixed once it is the document has been made we are not going to change it it creates problem and we already agreed that when we are making a plan it has to be flexible right number two was that things are not simple they are not linear the way they look I gave you example of that coal I gave you an example of a forest that things become more and more complex because the systems are these subsystems are not working in isolation they're all related with each other so things are complex and the challenge for a planner is that he has to deal with the complex situations and the decisions should be in such a way that they don't get uh, hindered or they go don't, don't get conflict with their ob other objectives the third one was uncertainty and this uncertainty was related with your uh, complexity and change because change is constantly happening things are becoming more and more complex and the more uncertainty is being created if you are more uncertain obviously decision making is not going to be that good so therefore what we do we try to minimize the uncertainty we try to minimize the risk we try to know the unknowns and in this way that thing is uh, tackled out The last one was my conflict, which I said that it is always there whenever the two parties, the two tribes, the two villages, or whenever the people are not on the same page. So the job of the planner is to mediate, to dissolve the conflict, because conflicts are not good. They always uh, lead to uh, destruction. So therefore, after covering these uh, parameters these four variables now we start formally with this planning part that what exactly is planning if you remember in lecture number three I talked about the definition of planning planning is a process we all agree when I say process it means that it involves certain sequential steps now when it involves certain sequential steps it means it is a formal thing that is informal planning also obviously but uh, when we are talking with reference to the natural resource management yes it's a formal planning 
and once it's a process then it is the setting up of objectives you set up your objectives and then you make strategies how to achieve it so this is a, a general definition of planning if someone asks you planning so it is the setting up of objectives and how to achieve them so later on in this today's lecture we are going to talk about types of planning right now number one how to plan we uh, are uh, we know the concept of planning now we're going to learn about how to plan planning can be done in a number of ways for example I want to have this degree fine that is my objective in order to get my masters in public administration now I can plan I can plan that okay for first uh, throughout this course of study I am just going to study and I'm not going to work I'm not going to take any job one plan second plan is that okay I am going to do a part-time job and I am going to uh, study also for this public administration program second plan third plan that okay I am uh, just going to take one course per semester and I am instead of finishing in two years I will be finishing it in four years but I'll be getting uh, my masters in public administration now I discuss three plans and all of these three plans just tell me are your objectives achieved your objective was to get a degree in MPA from all these three plans your degree you get your degree then it might be you boils down that what is your studying hours some people study 5 hours, some people study 8 hours, some people study 12 hours, some people study 24 hours. But by the end of the day, all, of, all four of these uh, students are going to get masters in public administration. Planning can be done in a number of ways. Now, one agency may be responsible for leading and controlling the planning process without involvement of the population. When I use the word uh, agency, it may be the government. It may be a central body that is responsible for this planning process. Then what it is doing? It is doing two management functions. Number one is leading and number two is controlling. When you lead, it means you are in the forefront and people are to follow you. When you are controlling it, it means you have the decision making power. Right? Now, uh, an important part that it talks about is the involvement of population right it may not involve people into it we will talk about it how that model of planning would be but over here it says that planning we may not involve population and population is general public you me people around us they're all population now in contrast elected planning uh, committee hoti hai, which are representing all different interests of people all different trust of perspective within the community and they are responsible for planning yani we choose a committee people choose them and they are responsible to represent the interests of people they are responsible to voice their concerns they are responsible to share their uh, whatever the community is telling them to do they will do it AKB planning a model on one side we have a central agency which does not involve people which do not care about the population and on the other side we are talking about that there's a group of people who are elected and they are talking in the interest of these people no no planning kar rahe. So, planning can be done in these two models. Now, planning can be qualitative, planning can be quantitative. When I say qualitative, it means that we are talking in terms of statements. Planning. Uh, in the next few years, Pakistan will send Mr. X on moon plan qualitative statement tell me yes it is a qualitative statement because I have said in the next few years koi year confirm kiya? no Mr. X will go on the moon that's it if I say okay, by year 2020 
Mr. Hassan is going on moon using this much amount of uh, resources. Itani gravity pad penenge, yes, arakuchuga. Everything is measured, it's tip top, it's quantified. Now, this is a quantified model. Objective hoye, moon pe jana. Right? So, therefore, planning can take in two both forms one is the qualitative, and another one is quantitative. Budget. Every year by June we have our budget. Qualitative, quantitative. Yes, that is quantitative. Why it is quantitative? And it is a repetitive plan. Because every year June me aapka budget aana hi aana hai. Okay? It's a cyclical plan. We know that kaji, now it's June, so the budget is going to come. So it is a plan, but it change hota rahe. the reason being that the amounts are changing. Now what hai? That we have started making these planning models. A planning model kya karta hai? different kind of plannings ko describe karta hai. Uske baad, planning ek is tarikhe se bhi differ ho sakti hai that which unit is actually carrying out the planning. In Pakistan we have this planning commission. Theek hai. Uh, West mein there are different bodies which are doing the planning. Kuch log 5 years ki planning karte hain, kuch log 10 years ki planning karte hain. So even on the basis of time horizon, even on the basis of which body is doing it, even on the basis of uh, uh, what kind of planning, qualitative, quantitative, what kind of model we are using. So you can say planning can be done in numerous ways. It's not just one rigorous thing, but still it remains a process, right? Now, planning models. A planning models kya hote hain? Planning models aapke bataye jate hain ke hamari planning proceed kaise karegi. If I read it, planning models describe how planning may proceed. Then there are several models. Planning ke andar we have worked a lot. Reason being ke jab governments aati hain to they make plans. They make uh, these uh, plans because unhone Tenure hota hai, three years, five years, four years, and they have to have a good plan in order to stay in the government and in order to get re-elected. For a ministry to stay, stay, stay sustainable, usne bhi planning apne karne hoti hai. We plan every minute. Even now you have planned that, okay, now it's this time, let me just pull out this CD and let me listen to the lecture. You plan your day, okay, now uh, this is the time, now I need to study. This is the time when I need to cook. This is the time when I need to eat. Planning is continuously. It has moved with the flow. Even the clothes that you are wearing today, you planned it. You thought about it, right? So, planning is there. It may be informal, but it is there. Planning is crucial. Planning models are kya bata rahe hote hain ki humne planning mein proceed kaise karna hota hai theek hai now pichle koi 8 10 saalon se we have developed a lot of planning models and every planning model every planning model has its own set of assumptions has its own nature and has its own role of the planner kyunki har planning model mein jo aapka planner hai uska role kya ho jata hai change ho jata hai हर प्लानिंग मॉडल की कुछ अपनी स्ट्रेंथ्स हैं और उसकी अपनी कोई वीकनेसेस हैं हर प्लानिंग मॉडल ये नहीं कह सकते इफ वन प्लानिंग मॉडल इज सक्सेसफुल इन इंडिया और इफ वन प्लानिंग मॉडल इज सक्सेसफुल इन यूएसए द सेम प्लानिंग मॉडल इज गोइंग टू वर्क इन पाकिस्तान आल्सो नो बिकॉज़ आर कल्चरल इकोनॉमिक सोशल पॉलिटिकल टेक्नोलॉजिकल ये सारे फैक्टर्स हमारे क्या हैं डिफरेंट है इट माइट बी सिमिलर बट दे आर डिफरेंट ठीक है, so कहीं पे आपकी autocratic आ जाती हैं, कहीं पे आपकी democratic आ जाती हैं, so different forms of political systems, so different forms of planning आ जाएगी, ठीक है, so हमारे हमने planning models बनाए हुए हैं, now there are two important अब planning model हैं, जब हम बात करते हैं with reference to natural resources, remember our focus is not political, our focus is mainly on the natural resource planning. So, two kinds of planning are there. Number one is known as comprehensive rational planning. Number two is transactive planning. 
I will try that uh, we focus on the uh, comprehensive rational planning in today's lecture. Now, given that these are two different plannings, dono ke dynamics kya hai farak hai. But you can't say that objectives are not in the same objectives are in the But the way these planning is carried out, those protocols are different. Now what they do is, that they involve the population, they involve the population. Ko involve nahi karte. Hai? That recently, now we talk about that if you want to do natural resource management, if you planning to do it, involve the community. Because once we start involving the community, we are actually representing their interests. We actually know what they want. Remember that we made objectives, banane the, they are not just natural source objectives, they are societal objectives. They are longer term objectives. They are aligned with the human, uh, humans' objectives also. Okay? So therefore, when we are talking about uh, the planning process, we can say it can go anywhere. It can be done one way or the other. Our objectives will be and what we are going to see is that better planning is going on The better one, that is participative, in which people are involved. Okay? There uh, you might have come across how many policies are there. Today we have made a child policy, today we have made a youth policy, now we have made an environment policy, now we have taken this. How many people are involved in the population? Very less. So, participation of the population is very important in the planning process. Then, uh, this planning model, uh, let me just highlight it for you and then it will uh, give a better uh, idea. A, a model that explicitly, okay? In black and white, that is loud enough to tell you, Kiji, considers uncertainty in prognosis about the reactions of the system and limited knowledge of the planner. Ye kya hai? Humare planner ke do challenges hai. Aur sa, uh, yahan pe aapki kaun si planning a jati hai? Adaptive planning a jati hai. Adaptive planning kya hati hai? Ke janab, planner ka knowledge kya hai? That is limited. And there is uncertainty. Then the decision is how the planning is how So in such case, we call it as the adaptive planning that you adapt to it. Now, new insights, new information, they are continuously being integrated into the planning process. And then management is accordingly. If you have no flexibility, if you are rigid, that is not a good plan. Plans, no, uh, no uh, matter what, don't think it. Plans, we have passed it and now it is not going to change. It can change, and given that your environment situation is keep on changing, so we should have that flexibility in case the change is Now comes the most important one comprehensive rational planning. First one. Okay? Comprehensive rational planning it has been a predominant one. If you look at the developed countries, Germany, uh, Russia, even US and uh, other South Asian big economies, comprehensive rational planning. Why? Because why we call it as comprehensive rational planning? Because it is based on rationality. Okay? And when we are analyzing or when we are making decisions, we are doing rational decisions. It is assumed. Because in economics, we say that man is rational. Man makes a decision quite rationally. True or false, there is controversy. Hai. There are new uh, uh, concepts in which they say, in which they question the concept of rationality. Ab morality ko le aaye hai. Theek hai. The discussion will go further on. Lekin uh, just to tell you ke, uh, I always give a very simple example when we talk about rationality. 
because economics we have said man is rational whatever decisions he is doing he is bringing all of his knowledge and everything what a rational decision karta so uh, uh, the example that i usually give is ke for example you are sitting with your parents and there is just one piece of bread both of you are very hungry you are young people your parents are uh, also there ab question ye kehta hai ki we who will take the bread let's suppose we all are weak hum abhi chote hain and our parents are much stronger rationality kehti hai because they are stronger they need more energy so they will have that piece of bread according to the rationality economics but in reality kya hota hai your parents will never eat anything without you giving anything so that piece of bread will be given to you where is rationality where is economics so naye concepts evolve ho rahe hain lekin in the past 20 25 years 30 years hum ye wala concept use kar rahe the rationality planning ka theek hai ab iske andar we jo hamari assumption major hai ye ji we use uh, rational for making decisions and uh, analyzing them now iski kuch central assumptions hai they are very important if someone asks you ke what are the comprehensive rational planning yes we it's pretty predominant it has been uh, more or less uh, uh, thought to be rational in terms of uh, making the decision but uski jo central assumption hai wo kya hai number 1 let me just mark it there is always a right or wrong way of management theek hai problem solving or development ek right hai ek wrong hai in the positive view this model assumes that it is possible to find this best way and the best solution to all planning issues yahan pe hum positivity ki taraf rehte hain ke we will find the best solution why because very easy we are rational right and when we are rational we are making the decisions very well now second assumption let me just go back for the first assumption yaad rakhiyega that there is always a right and wrong way or uh, what we are trying to say that we always make the best possible choice of decision because we are rational number 2 job ki environment hai that is controllable kisse by using scientific knowledge and modern technologies theek hai jo hamari jo planning ki environment hai what it is it is controlled by controllable by using scientific knowledge and modern technologies so when we have the planner what is his mindset that he very much believes in progress move forward he is very much positive he is very much optimistic so therefore uh, we say ke scientific knowledge and modern technology se hum move forward karte hain second rational theek hai third there is a common public interest that all the poor people all the public they have a common interest into it it's not just for one uh, segment of people it is not just for one uh, group it is not just for one nation it's means saron ka public interest involved hot then uh, an important assumption is ki jo bhi change hai that is engineered from the top yani upar se aa raha hai is it bottom up or it is top down top down right so change jo bhi aana hai jo bhi changes aa rahe hain they are coming from top to bottom and what he is saying change has to be engineered from the top upar se hoga niche se change nahi aa raha upar se change aayega then the planner is considered as a homo economics if he has collected and analyzed all the necessary data his scientific knowledge and experience enables him wohi wali baat maine wo economics ki baat ki thi that we consider man is rational to hum uski rationality ko le rahe hain ki if he has collected all the information if he has collected all the scientific data to wo uski jo decision hogi wo kaisi hogi number 1 he will be enable to identify the common public interest okay यानी 
he is talking for the public. Well, common public interest ke baat karega because he has gathered all the information. Number two, he will identify all solution options. Ke jo bhi ek problem ko solve karne ke, jo bhi maximum solutions hai, wo unko saaron ko identify karega. Then, he will evaluate them against specific criteria. Jab hum kisi uh, cheez ko evaluate karte hai, किसी ऑप्शन को एवैल्यूएट करते हैं तो ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वी आर यूजिंग इकोनॉमिक वंस अब जब लफ्स इकोनॉमिक आ गया तो व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाई व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डिसीजंस वी आर टेकिंग वी आर यूजिंग द मॉनेटरी सेंस अ मॉनेटरी सेंस कैसे आ सकता है दैट लेट्स से आई वांट टू बाय अ टेलीविजन एंड देयर आर 3 4 ब्रांड्स अवेलेबल I have this amount of, let's suppose, 50,000. On what parameter you will buy the television? Quality? Sorry, TV, okay. All our ISO 9000 certified, we rule out. Kar diya. And then what you will do is that you will start thinking that us TV ko lo, ke jo, jiski life be long, ho, jiska brand be acha ho, lekin uski price kam ho. That price is the economic one. We go and we make decisions that we have to take such things that are cheap but it goes for the longer run. And we start using the economic tools. For example, we want to make a dam in Pakistan and what we do is that once we make the dam, uh, once we are in the process of making the dam, like now we are in the planning stage, we have to take the material from the material, we will complete the costs from the material, लोग कितने हम एम्प्लॉय करेंगे ये जब हम सारा कर रहे हैं वी आर कॉस्टिंग इट और हमने ये डिफरेंट कंपनीज को ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिए कि भाई ये आप हमें करके दो एंड वी विल गिव यू दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द डैम अब व्हिच कंपनी यू आर गोइंग टू चूज द कंपनी दैट बिड्स द मिनिमम कि जी हम आपको ये ब्रिज 5000 में बना देंगे लेकिन ये हमारे क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड्स तो हमने क्या लिया हुआ इकोनॉमिक टूल लिया हुआ पॉलिसी को एनालाइज करने के लिए या किसी प्लानिंग मैकेनिज्म को अगर आपने अल्टरनेटिव को एनालाइज करना है वी कैन यूज कॉस्ट बेनिफिट एनालिसिस वेरी कॉमन इन इकोनॉमिक्स इसको सीबी एनालिसिस भी कहते हैं इसको बीसी एनालिसिस भी कहते हैं बेनिफिट कॉस्ट एनालिसिस बीसीए सीबीए अब इसमें हम क्या करते हैं हम कहते हैं एक प्रोजेक्ट वही डैम लगा रहे हैं ये इसकी कॉस्ट है और हमें ये प्रोजेक्ट करना चाहिए या नहीं करना चाहिए वेरी इजी यू डोंट आस्क पीपल के लोगों से आप पूछ रहे होते हैं कि प्लीज सर बताएं शैल आई मेक अ डैम और नॉट वी डोंट यहां पे मैंने अपना एक इकोनॉमिक टूल लगाया द सेम बेनिफिट कॉस्ट एनालिसिस किए कॉस्ट में जो पता है कि जी एक डैम बनाने में लेट्स सपोज 10 मिलियन लगना दैट इज माय कॉस्ट लेकिन इस डैम के बनने से क्या बेनिफिट्स होंगे एग्रीकल्चर वाला इंप्रूव कर जाएगा सीनिक ब्यूटी मे बी खत्म हो जाएगी मे बी बढ़ जाए देन टूरिज्म बढ़ सकता है देन फिशरी का और डिफरेंट बेनिफिट्स and disbenefits. Now what we do is that we have minused costs from benefits. If the answer to your question is positive, then you say that net benefits are positive. Let's go for this project. And if your benefits are negative, you can't go for the project. Second thing is that we can take the ratio of its ratio. The benefit-cost ratio can also be said. Benefits divided by costs. अगर तो आपका रेशियो पॉजिटिव आता है, if it is greater than one, then go for the project. If it is less than one, don't go for the project. So therefore, there is mechanisms, and this planner is doing it on the he's using these economic tools कि जो उसने alternatives देखे हैं, जो उसने planning model में देखे हैं कि हम इस चीज से भी objective achieve कर सकते हैं, इससे भी कर सकते हैं, इससे भी कर सकते हैं. Now he is using these economic tools that which is the most viable. Because remember, cost is a constraint. कोई या प्रोजेक्ट मुझे बता दें या कोई ऐसा इनिशिएटिव बता दें जहाँ पे आपको कहा गया हो लगाओ जितने पैसे लगा सकते हो डोंट वरी नो कॉस्ट से कंस्ट्रेंट हो कहते हैं जी आप मुझे मिनिमम कॉस्ट में करके देंगे आए दिस इज़ योर अपर बाउंड इससे आपने आगे नहीं जाना देवरफॉर देन चूज़ द बेस्ट he is a cost minimizer and he is a benefit maximizer. Why? Because he is not making decision for himself, he is making for the whole economy.
so therefore he is trying to maximize the benefit he is trying to look out for the best solution he is trying to look out for the all solution options. So that you don't have to take only one method. You have to see the other solutions whether it can solve the problem or not. So therefore, these are certain things that when we say that he is rational, he will do this work. Who can do it? Number one, that you have common public interest. Number two, he will identify all solution options. Number three, he will weigh these options, he will calculate these options kis tarikai se by using some economic criteria. Take it. And number four, he will choose the best solution to all planning issues. Now, the person that we have created or the person that we are assuming who is a planner, right? What he is that he is a super guy. He is someone who knows the complexities. He is someone who knows the special techniques of technology. He is someone who knows how to solve problems. Answer is How come it's possible? Because our assumption is model that he is rational. Right? Then, population guess me kya role hota? How population is participating in it? Population got a role here. There is virtually no role of population in this design of planning, in this model of planning. People are not involved in it. Because we have made a planner so much superman that he is someone that who is rational. He is someone that who has so much knowledge. He is someone that who is using all the economic tools. He is also assumed that he has looked out for all the solutions. So therefore. He can't commit mistake and he is making the decision in the public interest. So, the people ki participation, the population ki participation, that is not there in this particular model. Now, how process is going Word process is Planning is carried out in a centralistic way. It is centralized or it is decentralized. Centralized means that all the power is in the center. Then, this is six steps. Once you look at your lecture notes, you have mentioned it in that. And what are these steps? In the feedback loop is connected. The moment you have done the first step, if there is any problem, you will go back. Then you will do the second step. If there is a problem, you may go back. So, in every step, you have the option that you can easily uh, move out or you can easily look into ke how it is the process is happening what it signifies ke ye thoda sa, ye hai flexible hai. there is flexibility in this planning process that's why we have these feedback loops they create the possibility to incorporate changes into planning as a result of new information or experiences Boy, baat, challenge number one change is constant because changes are coming, so as a planner, I need to have this capacity in my in which planning is so capacity that it is flexible enough to incorporate or to adapt to the changing world. Then, several modeling and analyzing techniques are used, especially quantitative analysis. It's a very different uh, thing that people think it has a belief that the quantitative hai, they are more valid. They are more, uh, kehte hai, unki reliability zyada hai because these are the numbers in unko calculate kiya gaya hai. But again, in the contemporary era, this is a bit controversial. People say that numbers don't express the feelings. Numbers don't express other things which you know statements. So that's why don't just do the summative things. Summative. Do not just quantify it. Formative bhi karo. Qualitative use kind of things. But better approach in planning is that both dono karo. You go for qualitative and you go for quantitative. Okay. So, the uh, planner in our planning process, we are using lots of modeling techniques, we are using lots of uh, technology in this planning process. Thus, this planning is considered to be scientific, it is considered to be technical process, 
but without public trans uh, without public participation there's no public trans uh, participation into it now there has been certain criticism into it what are those criticisms number 1 unethical effects what can be the unethical effect think for a minute I am doing certain planning okay and in this planning planning me kar kiske liye raha hu for the population but I am not giving any representation to the population what kind of planning is this yes pe criticism hota hai model ke upar theek hai ab let me just read it and then we will look at the concept wholly because it is important remember jab bhi aap planning karenge on any forum aapne koi na koi model to use karna hai and when you go for the model then people are going to raise questions on it so you should be ready ki bhi is pe ye wala criticism hona and this is how i need to uh, rebut this is how i have need to respond to these queries so therefore when we are saying ki ji aapka planning is iske andar uh, jo the point that he mentions is that there is undesirable uh, ethical effects ethical uh, question isne de diya theek hai wo ethical question kya hai kehta hai ke planning as an objective theek hai activity without participation on population on whom objectives and measures are imposed top down can not be considered ethically correct very true ek to jo bhi change aa raha hai humne iski assumption mein padha tha that it is top down people don't know what is going to come because bottom up to hua hi nahi people were not even informed they were not even kept in the cycle of participation they were not even kept in the cycle of this planning process uh, we have just dropped the bomb i mean now this is the plan why you have to trust the planner kyunki planner ne janab he has used technology he has used all alternatives he has used all the models and he has to tried to figure out things and he has made a very comprehensive plan is it ethical no plan agar mere liye banaya ja raha hai aur agar mujhe uske andar involve bhi na kiya jaye i don't feel comfortable with that but if you look at 10 20 years ago in the policies jo banti thi ye mujhe bataye how many people used to involve public kitni public wo uh, thi participation no almost negligible that's why we call it as a centralized planning ke bhi jo aapki planning authority hai wo plan bana rahi hai which think ke bhi it is in the public interest top down karega and by the end of the day we the common people we the population we the public have to follow it because it has been implemented should you question the planner no kyunki the way humne planner ki profile banayi hai that he is rational the way humne planner ki profile banayi because he is actually pulling out all the solutions to the problem he is a value using economic tools he is using technology to humne to usko bahut intelligent bana diya na that okay he is making everything in the interest of the people but criticism aata hai ki this is unethical because you are making policy for me and you haven't even asked me okay now planning ke andar as i said ke it's a continuous process and there needs to be flexibility into it uh in the past if you look at the economies planned economies hum baat karte hain the role of government was very strong theek hai 
बट गवर्नमेंट उस जमाने में भी दे वॉन्ट आस्क द पीपल दट ओके वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्लान आर टू बी मेड वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्लान विल बी गुड फॉर यू तो उसके अंदर जो डिस्कशन थी ना पीपल एंड द गवर्नमेंट और पीपल वर्सेज द एजेंसी विच इज प्लानिंग मुश्किल थी इट वॉज द बट यू माइट हैव सीन कि कुछ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में कुछ कंट्रीज के अंदर ऐसी प्लानिंग काम की है इट वॉज नॉट ऑलवेज अ फेलियर ठीक है सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द कंट्रीज इन योर साइड वे द सेंट्रल प्लानिंग चाइना इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ उसकी देखें इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट उसकी देखें एंड नाउ इट हैज स्टार्टेड डूइंग इट हैज चेंज लेकिन इन द स्टार्ट द मॉडल तो वैसा ही था बाय जस्ट रीडिंग द क्रिटिसिज्म द पॉइंट व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक इज के जस्ट बाय रीडिंग द क्रिटिसिज्म डोंट स्टार्ट बिलीविंग कि भाई एक ये चीज तो थी खराब क्योंकि पीपल इसमें इन्वॉल्व नहीं थे चेंजेस आते हैं Yes, now it is more of a public participation. लेकिन तब भी things moved out, things worked out. So, as a good planner, as a good student of management, as a good student of public administration, my message is that do not just focus on the negatives. उसका हम करते हैं ना कि भाई आपने swat करना होता है. एक चीज की strengths देख ले. and on the second part start looking at the weaknesses not for just one sided view have a holistic view of both sides so therefore we get the true picture lekin yes it is a centralized model aur iske upar jo major criticism hua hai ki it is unethical theek hai iske jo ethical effects in they are unintended because isme aapko you are not asking people about what is to be done then comes the second one and that is my undesirable environmental effects theek hai let me just read it for you and then i'll explain that to you undesirable environmental effects or no successful results isn't it strange ke bhi is planning ka results kya hai दे आर अनडिजायरेबल जो इन्वायरमेंटल इफेक्ट हैं वो हैं अनडिजायरेबल और इसके जो रिजल्ट आते हैं दे आर टोटली नॉट सक्सेसफुल इट्स अ बिग ब्लो ऑन द होल प्लानिंग मॉडल वाई लेट सी द एग्जाम्पल एज लोकल नॉलेज एंड प्रैक्टिस आर नॉट इन कोऑपरेटेड इन प्लानिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट द मेजर्स आर नॉट अडेप्टेड टू the specific conditions the population does not support the measures ordered from the top and no inter jurisdictional cooperation is intended in this planning model ye jo maine brackets mein likha hua hai this is basically the comprehension or explanation of this point undesirable environmental effects and uh, no successful results again it gets down to the same question now why you are talking about the environment people who are using environment people who are dependent upon environment they know much more i have been sitting all day along in my office or main bana raha hu policy water ki na kabhi maine i have never been to the sea neither i have ever seen the living conditions of the people over there how i am so good in making a policy which is will be better for them so they say give it is undesirable because jo local knowledge hai that is very important to know for a good and sound policy uh there is a very famous uh, scholar gayatri spivak what she says that it's better to learn from below first developed and developing countries mein bhi yahi ho raha hai theek hai and that's why conflict aa jate hain people are unhappy you read newspapers and they say they show uh, this sign of dislikeness why one model is successful or one policy is successful in usa aur hum kehte hain ji it has been a brilliant model 
پاکستان امبریسز اٹ لیٹس ہیو اٹ وہاں پہ اس نے پازیٹیو رزلٹ دکھایا یہاں پہ انہوں نے پازیٹیو رزلٹ کی بجائے اس نے بالکل نیگیٹو رزلٹ شو کر دیا از اٹ دا پالیسی دیٹ از رانگ اور از اٹ دا پالیسی امپلیمنٹیشن یس اٹس دا پالیسی امپلیمنٹیشن مائکرو کریڈٹ مائکرو فائنانس گرامین بینک ون آف دا ورلڈ رول ماڈل ہم اس کو پاکستان کے اندر لے آئے لے آئے ہیں مائکرو فائنانس چل رہا ہے بٹ یو کانٹ سے کہ جی ہم نے گرامین بنا دیا دا ایشو از کہ ہمارے یہاں پہ کلچرل اکنامک نیچرل فیکٹرز بالکل فرق ہیں جو وہاں پہ ہیں لوگوں کی پرائرٹی بالکل فرق ہے ٹھیک ہے سو ان دس وے کہ جب آپ لوکل لوگوں کو انوالو نہیں کرو گے تو ہاؤ وی کین سی دیٹ دا پالیسیز فار دیم دین اٹ از ناٹ ڈیموکریٹک وے وی آر جسٹ امپوزنگ اٹ آن دیم آئی دیٹ دے فیل ہیپی اور دے فیل سیڈ وی ڈونٹ کیئر ناؤ فرسٹ کہ جی وی ڈونٹ پارٹیسپیٹ سیکنڈ اٹ از جسٹ ٹاپ ٹو باٹم اٹس ناٹ اے ٹو وے تھنگ کہ وی پیپل اسٹارٹ آسکنگ کوشچن کوئی آپ کی اسٹیک ہولڈرز میٹنگ ہوتی ہے لوگ آپ کو بتاتے ہیں کہ نہیں جی یو آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دس پالیسی بٹ دیر از سم چینج یو نیڈ ٹو برنگ سم فلیکسیبلٹی ان ٹو اٹ ایون دو اٹ سیز کہ دا ڈاکومنٹ از فلیکسیبل واٹ کائنڈ آف فلیکسیبلٹی اٹ از کہ جناب پیپل آر ناٹ پارٹیسپیٹنگ ان اٹ پیپل کانٹ گیو فیڈ بیک آن یور پالیسی رائٹ سو دے فور آپ کی کوآپریشن اس میں نظر نہیں آ رہی ٹھیک ہے اینڈ یو فائنڈ دیٹ دیر از ناٹ مینی سکسیزفل ریزلٹس اباؤٹ اٹ سو دیٹ میکس پلاننگ مور اینڈ مور کمپلیکس دیٹ آن ون سائڈ یو آر فالوئنگ اے ویری سیکوینشیل اسٹیپس آپ چھ سات آپ نے آپ نے سکس اسٹیپس آپ کر رہے ہیں یو آر تھنکنگ دیٹ یو آر ورکنگ ان دا پبلک انٹرسٹ لیکن وہاں پہ وہ کہتا جی آپ کے ریزلٹ ہی ٹوٹلی انسکسیزفل آ رہے ہیں why there might be a different factors i'll give you an example uh ek jagah project ek implement hua and they said ke the mother's health is very important for development agreed and they started giving extra calories extra food to the mothers in that particular country and they saw ke mothers ki health improve hone lag padi hai Now they deputed the same project in Bangladesh. Over here, they started giving, uh, used the same model, same planning model, same protocols which they used in the first city and it implemented in Bangladesh. Now tell me what kind of results we should be getting. Should mothers be healthy? Theory says yes. But in practical, what happened? It was a failure. Why? انہوں نے کہا کہ جی جب آپ ہم وہاں پہ خواتین کو بلاتے تھے اینڈ وی ووڈ ایجوکیٹ دیم وی ووڈ گیو دیم فوڈ دے ول کم دے ول پارٹیسپیٹ ان اٹ بٹ وین وی اے کال اوور ہیئر ان بنگلہ دیش یہاں پہ کیا ہوا کہ فیملس کی یہاں پہ وہ سے گھر میں نہیں ہے دا ڈسیزن میکر از ناٹ دا مدر دا ڈسیزن میکر از مدر ان لا بیکاز شی از ایکچولی کنٹرولنگ والا فنکشن آ گیا اس کے پاس سو آپ چاہے اس مدر کو کچھ بھی کر لیں شی از ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو ڈو اینی تھنگ ود آؤٹ دا کنسینٹ آف اے ہسبینڈ اور ود آؤٹ دا کنسینٹ آف دا مدر ان لا سو دے آر فور اے ممبر کہ جناب آپ کی جو پلاننگ ہے وہ چینج ہو جاتی ہے اور اس کو ہونا بھی چاہیے آپ کا جو ماڈلز ہیں وہ مے بی In this particular province, it is very good. But in second province, it will not work. Okay? Take an example of Pakistan Tobacco Company. One uh, factory is in Akora Khatak, the second factory is in Jhelum. Now, if you look at the labor over there, there are more of the Pathans in the uh, factory Akora Khatak. But in Jhelum, there is more of Punjabis. Now, the way the managers would deal with the workforce in Jhelum, they can't deal the, in the same manner with the workforce in Akora Khatak. Both are different. 
ڈفرنٹ کلچر ڈفرنٹ بیک گراؤنڈ ڈفرنٹ ان کی پرائرٹیز ہیں فرق ہے تو دیر فور اٹ از ناٹ ہارم فل دیٹ یو اسٹارٹ لوکنگ آؤٹ فار سولیوشنس وچ آر لوکل کیونکہ اتنے سال لوکل نے سروائیو کیا ہے نا جب سائنس نہیں تھی یو ول سی کے سارے ڈاکومنٹ میں ہم وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دیٹ وی آر سینگ کہ ہی از سائنٹیفک ہی از یوز ان ٹیکنالوجی سو اٹ مینس کہ جب یہ سائنس یا جب یہ ٹیکنالوجی یا اس قسم کے ٹولس نہیں تھے تو کیا پلاننگ نہیں ہوتی تھی اٹ واز ویری مچ دیئر ٹھیک ہے لوکل پلاننگ ہوتی تھی انڈیجنس پلانس بنتے تھے انڈیجنس کمیونٹیز اپنے سروائیول کے لیے وہ پلاننگ کرتے تھے اٹ واز دیئر لیکن پھر ٹائم چینج ہوئے اینڈ دین تھنگس موڈ آؤٹ ناؤ وی ہیو ڈاؤٹس اینڈ واٹ آر دوز ڈاؤٹس وی ہیو ڈاؤٹس آن دا آبجیکٹیوٹی اینڈ نمبر ٹو وی ہیو ڈاؤٹس آن دا ریشنالٹی یہ وہی ہے جہاں پہ ہم اس کو کہہ رہے ہیں دا پلانر از ویری مچ ریشنل ناؤ ان دا کریٹیسزم وی سی وی ہیو ڈاؤٹس آن ہز ریشنالٹی اینڈ وی ہیو ڈاؤٹس آن ہز آبجیکٹیوٹی واٹ از دیٹ اٹ از ان دا وے کہ وی سیڈ دیٹ ہی از گوئنگ ٹو یوز دا کوانٹیفائڈ ڈیٹا ٹھیک ہے کوانٹیفائڈ ڈیٹا کے ساتھ آپ پلان بنا رہے ہو پلان آپ کس کا بنا رہے ہو فیوچر کا بنا رہے ہو گو می اشورنس دیٹ یو ہیو آل دا ڈیٹا گو می اشورنس دیٹ یو ہیو آل دا ایٹریبیوٹس موسٹ آف دا ٹائم ڈیٹا ہوتا ہی نہیں ہے پھر یعنی اف ڈیٹا از ناٹ اویلیبل ہاؤ دیٹ پالیسی ہاؤ دیٹ پلاننگ از بینگ ڈن وین وی آر سینگ دیٹ ان دس ماڈل لاڈ آف کوانٹیفائڈ ٹیکنیکس آر بینگ یوزڈ سو دیر فور دا میجر کرٹیسزم از یعنی اس کے اوپر ڈاؤٹس آ جاتے ہیں ڈاؤٹس کس پہ آتے ہیں پہلی ریشنالٹی کے اوپر دیٹ دس جینٹل مین دا پلانر ہی از ناٹ ریشنل وی ڈونٹ تھنک سو ہی ہیز ڈن دا رائٹ کیلکولیشن بیکاز دا ڈیٹا از ناٹ اویلیبل ٹھیک ہے نا دیٹ پٹس اے بگ کوشچن مارک اباؤٹ دا پلاننگ کہ یہ پلاننگ ہو کیسی رہی تھی پھر ہاؤ ہی کوڈ ہیو ڈیولپڈ سچ اے ماڈل وین دا ڈیٹا واز ناٹ دیئر ٹھیک ہے سو دیئر فور دیٹ پٹس دا پلان ان اے ویری ڈفیکلٹ پوزیشن دین ان ریئیکشن ٹو دا کرٹکس اس ریاکشن کی بیسز پہ یہ جو تھے آپ کے جو ہے دا پلاننگ دیٹ وی ہیو بن اسٹارٹنگ مینی آلٹرنیٹو پلاننگ ماڈلس ور ڈیولپڈ ٹھیک ہے ان ریسپانس ٹو دیز آل دا کرٹیسزم کئی ہم نے پلاننگ ماڈلس نئے لے کے آئے اور اس میں سے جو سب سے جو اس کا اپوزٹ آیا دیٹ واز ٹرانزیکٹو پلاننگ Now, if someone asks you, I'll just move back, uh, this one. Give me one important ingredient or the striking feature that comprehensive rational planning mein kya hota hai? What are we going to say? Over here, the first factor is people. people are not involved in comprehensive rational planner but on the other side agar hum dekhe to sabse zyada burden kis ke upar hai you the planner because we assume the planner is rational we assume the planner is knowledgeable we assume that the that the uh, planner has technical knowledge and we assume that the planner is making the right decision theek hai na agar ye aapki decisions chal bhi jati hain people still feel bad about it why بیکاز پیپل ور ناٹ انوالو ان ٹو اٹ پلاننگ وہ کہتے ہیں دیٹ پلاننگ یو آر ڈسکسنگ دا فیوچر اور آپ صرف ایک آدمی یا ایک باڈی وہ ساری پلاننگ کر دیتی ہیں دے آر ناٹ ایون کنسرنڈ اباؤٹ دا پیپل دیر پارٹیسپیشن 
so that is the negative point in this rational planning there are other kinds of planning also <coughs> but we can divide the plans in different ways rational planning is on the basis of ki yahan pe zyada aapki agency involved hoti hai yahan pe sabse zyada burden kis pe aa jata hai aapke planner ke upar aa jata hai because we have assumed that he is a remarkable person who can do anything you don't need public participation now in all that discussion i just want you to think for a minute why we are ignoring population what can be the major reason of not letting population involved in the decision making what can you think of mm -hmm. no and yes because some of you have given the right answer why we are saying ke population ko involve na karo dekhe jitni zyada aap population ko involve karte jayenge aap se main pooch raha hu aap se pooch raha hu is decision making easy or it is difficult it becomes difficult it is the same thing when i was telling you ke ji doodh ke dabbe pade hain humne sirf ek dabba lena hai but now your information overloaded uh paaj इंडिविजुअल्स एक साइड पे आ जाते हैं एंड फाइव इंडिविजुअल्स ऑन द अदर साइड नाउ दे अ टाई विच प्लान ठीक है नाउ व्हेन यू हैव अ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ मोर देन फोर्टीन मिलियन और हम एक प्लानिंग करना चाह रहे हैं विच इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट ऑल द पीपल इज डू यू थिंक इज इट पॉसिबल टू गो ऑल दीज फॉर टू इन्वॉल्व ऑल दीज फोर्टीन मिलियन पीपल उस वक्त ये जो सोशल नेटवर्क होते थे फेसबुक ट्विटर ये वगैरह नहीं है number 3 that it takes time you have to make decision in 2 days theek hai plan jaldi banana hai there is a very short deadline but people are not around how you are going to develop that thing ki ji people are not there and you have to develop the plan and once you wait for them you wait for these people and then what happens it is going to take a longer period period of time yes planning is for future planning is long term lekin jab uske process ki hum baat karte hain planning ko to jaldi hona chahiye but planning kya ho rahi hai it will taking time because hume population ko involve karna hai humne har stakeholder ko involve karna hai so therefore जहां पे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्रिटिसिज्म वहां पे कुछ स्ट्रेंथ भी है स्ट्रेंथ कैन बी कैरी ओके इफ यू ट्रस्ट द प्लानर दैट ही इज गोइंग टू डू अ गुड जॉब देन वे आर द डाउट्स द सेकेंड माइट बी कि जी हमने प्लानर को तो ट्रस्ट किया हुआ है द प्लानर माइट बी नॉलेजेबल ठीक है थर्ड इज कि यू डोंट यू डोंट हैव दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम आपने जल्दी काम करना है and if you are going to wait ke ji ye sare stakeholders se hum pooch ke aayenge aur phir hamari unanimous decision na ho phir ab kya karoge it is further going to create problems so when we are summing up the planning uh, today's lecture let just focus on ke we talked about planning and then we talked about comprehensive rational planning and our main purpose was to understand ke planning hoti kaise hai how the planning is being done and what we have inferred so far from this particular comprehensive rational planning that planning is continuous aapka plan agar flexible nahi hoga then it may create problem then uh, in this uh, ra comprehensive rational planning this is the agency or a planner who is actually doing it there is no participation from the people we do not even care about what are their local voices what do they want but we think that the person the planner that we have hired he has an extra capability he can play with the numbers he can play with the technologies and the uh, the product that he is going to give it is going to be very good to humne ye sara pada उसके बाद देर आर सर्टन एजम्पन्स 
جو کہ وی سے کہ ہی از ریشنل ہی از میکنگ ڈسیزنز ٹائملی اینڈ ہی از ڈوئنگ اٹ ان پبلک انٹرسٹ دیز آر دا ازمشنس اگر یہ ازمشنس نہ ہوں دین دا ماڈل ڈزنٹ ایگزسٹ سو دا ازمشنس آر دیر اسی ویور سے پھر ہم آگے اس کو کنٹینیو کرتے رہتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے دین یو ہیو دس دا لاسٹ ون ان ٹرمز آف کہ جی آپ کی منی اسپینڈ کتنا ہوتا ہے ریمبر بینیفٹ میکسمائزیشن اینڈ منی minimization cost minimization just to make one policy and if I start involving everyone in the the grassroots level community come involve karta hu now what happens that it will actually start your cost humne the cost bachani thi humne benefits ko maximize karna hai cost ko humne minimize karna hai but what we did was that we were actually doing the reverse So therefore, rational planning may be that the person that you have chosen, he is a good person, he is knowledge, he is rational, he is making the decisions for the, in the public interest. So therefore, do not doubt his decision. Okay? So in this way, your time horizon is also reduced. Your cost is also reduced. And in this way, you have a good planning model. But, نیکسٹ ٹائم جب ہم پڑھیں گے وی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دس ون ٹرانزیکٹو پلاننگ اور اس کا جو دا وے اٹ ڈائیورجز فرام یور دس دس پلان اٹ از بیسیکلی کہ جی یہاں پہ ہم نے کیا لے آنی ہے پبلک کی پارٹیسپیشن لے آنی ہے اس کے بھی اپنی ازمشنس ہوں گی اس کا اپنا کرٹیسزم ہوگا اینڈ اس کے اپنے وہ پروز اینڈ کانس ہوں گے اسٹرینتھس ہوں گی ویکنیسز ہوں گی سو دے آر فور واٹ وی کین سے از ان اے سیف ٹرن ری پلاننگ کین بی ڈن ان اے نمبر آف ویز فار سم پیپل آئی تھنک ریشنل والی زیادہ بہتر ہوگی فار سم پیپل دے ود سے کہ جی وی وانٹ اے ٹرانزیکٹو پلاننگ بٹ پلاننگ کیپ آن رولنگ اپ اٹ از آلویز دیر دیر از اے ویری فیمس کوٹ وہ سے پیپل ڈونٹ پلان ٹو فیل دے فیل ٹو پلان or vice versa right so if you are not planning it means you don't have any vision you don't have any objective in life whatever you have done so far in all these years of your life you have been planning for it even when you are going to get this degree that is also a plan it's a master plan because once I acquire this so planning is everywhere planning is important Planning is critical, planning is a process, planning continues forever, planning needs to be flexible, it should not be rigid, and planners are there to implement it. You are one of the planners. So, when you are doing this course, you have to think like a planner. Kiji, when I am making this policy, is it just for one individual, it is just for one group, yeah, it is for the whole integrated system. ٹھیک ہے اور جب ہم انٹیگریٹ سسٹم کی بات کرتے ہیں اٹ از بیسیکلی دیٹ ایوری پالیسی از ایوری پلاننگ از انٹیگریٹ ود ایچ ادر اور ایک آپ اینٹیٹی کی پلاننگ کرتے ہو وہ دوسری اینٹیٹی کو افیکٹ کرے گی سو ہمارے گولز کیا ہونے چاہیے دے نیڈ ٹو بی سنکرونائزڈ اف دا گولز آر سنکرونائزڈ دیٹ از ریئلی گڈ پلاننگ بائی دا اینڈ آئی ول جسٹ سے It's not easy. People have expectations from you. You are in the decision position. And when you are planning something, it's not just for you, it is for the whole thing. Everyone is going to be affected by it. So, if we are in this rational planning, we need to act very intelligent. کیونکہ اگر تھوڑی سی بھی مسٹیک ہوتی ہے اس کی پرائس مجھے تو پے کرنی پڑے گی لیکن آپ کی ساری پاپولیشن اس سے کیا کر جائے گی سفر کرے گی سو اٹ از کوائٹ جسے کہتے ہیں ڈیفیکلٹ تھنگ پروسیس از ناٹ ڈیفیکلٹ بٹ وین دا پلانر اسٹارٹ ڈوئنگ اٹ وین دا پلانر کم اکراس دا ریئل ریالٹیز 
then it becomes much more difficult because you are doing you're dealing with people who have different priorities who have different tastes who have different cultures who have different interests un saron ko aapne kya karna hai unify karna hai un saron ka public interest humne generate karna hai theek hai so therefore uh, let's keep it to this point in the next class we will talk about these transactive planning fir uska comparison karenge fir uska swot karte hainge and then there are two more plannings that will be discussing and then we will move on to these different kind of uh, natural source planning that has been happening here in pakistan and abroad right uh, till then do revise your lectures and uh, if there is any problem do not just restrict yourself to the lecture notes or to the book you can browse read the newspaper get more and more information and it's a wonderful course you people are going to enjoy it thank you very much